I'm rolling. So if you guys have been following this channel for a while then you're probably thinking that I already did this video and technically yeah I already did a film versus digital video but that video was between the Mamiya RB67 and the Canon 6D Mark II and since that video I have switched to the Sony A7 III and I've also bought a Mamiya RZ Z, ZZ RZ or Z? Let's go with Z. RZ67. So yeah, I thought it'd just be interesting to do another little comparison. It's not really a technical comparison. I'm just going to put the pictures up and you guys can have a look and see what you think. I've also got a little bit of behind the scenes for this video as well. This video was a collab with my good friend Iz and I will link his channel in the description because we've got another video going up live on his channel which is more about videography if you guys are interested in video as well as photo. You guys might remember is from a video we did about 18 months ago on this channel and that was where we had one model and we shot her both on digital and I think I shot a little bit of 35mm on that sheet as well. If you haven't already checked that out I'll put it in the description somewhere. Working with is is always am is is always amazing. Working with is is always amazing and um, he's an amazing photographer specializing in fashion and his style is a lot more playful than mine a lot more experimental and probably a lot more creative than mine especially in the way that he poses his models and you guys will probably see that um, when you see his photos compared to mine but collaborating on an idea with is is always great because you have to kind of find some sort of middle ground between your two styles to introduce the concept and then the way in which you then carry out the concept is often, is often different because we have different styles. I've said it before, but I'll always stress the importance of having a sense of community over a sense of competition. You know, we wanna bring each other up, we wanna learn from each other, and that relationship that I have with Iz is definitely about that, that learning process. Every time I work with him, I learn new things. And every time I work with him, I'm pushed outside of my usual comfort zone. In this shoot in particular, we got quite playful with the styling, especially in the second look. And, you know, I like to play around with styling in my work and I love using colour, but it's definitely in more of a subtle way than Iz uses colour. And like I said, Iz is very playful with his use of colour, with his use of posing and with his use of styling. So it was really interesting to kind of see how a concept that we both thought of together would then transpire into the two different outcomes that we, that we did end up with. I'm gonna stop chatting and we're gonna roll the behind the scenes. Perfect. and then if you can kind of stand in front of him and if you could put your arm around a little bit like what is had you doing yeah perfect my hands are so cold amazing perfect and then i'm going to get you to look away from me so probably both in the same direction maybe off into that direction <laughs> yeah that's nice that's nice Tony, I'll get you to look that direction. Perfect. No, just Tony. Perfect. Okay, cool. I'm going to count to three and we'll go on three. So, one, two, three. Actually, Curtis, I might get you to look it's backwards in here, so I'm confusing myself. If you look that way, yeah. Perfect. Cool, go one, two, three. I'm gonna get you to take the, the blazer off.
Okay, cool. We'll go one, two, three. I get you to look off into that direction. I get you to take the glass off. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tilt your head down a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And then just move your eyes towards me, but don't move your head. Yeah. No. Amazing. I'm gonna get you to bring your hand up to your face. Yeah. I've said it before when I was comparing digital to film, especially medium format film, that medium format film, it can be a little bit harder to get that more like candid stuff, like movement and things like that, just because of the sheer size of the Mamiya. And I definitely found that again within this shoot, I was able to capture a lot more movement, a lot more candid moments with the digital. That being said, I did try something out with the Mamiya, which kind of worked, kind of maybe didn't. Um, and I tried to capture more candid shots. So I asked Tony, for example, at one point, just to chat to Iz and Curtis. And, you know, that kind of worked. Like I managed to get one of her like smiling and looking a little bit less posed. But then I also got one of her like mid word, which wasn't really what I was aiming for. Um, but I also tried another technique where you count to three and you take the photo on the two rather than the three. And that just helps to make sure that they're a little bit more relaxed. I think this is something I wanna kind of experiment more with. So if you're a model that is gonna be working with me in the future, just forget I'm saying this. But obviously I'm also not very used to shooting with the Mamiya RZ67. This is the second shoot that I've done with it. And the first shoot where there had been two people in frame. And something I was worried about was, you know, I was shooting wide open at 2.8, it was quite dark by the time we were wrapping up. And I was worried that the depth of field would look a bit weird. Obviously, if both of them aren't on the exact same plane, how that would kind of transpire. But I actually wasn't too 
upset with the results when one of them was out of focus it kind of looked all right so I'm I'm not too fussed about that but let me know what you think and again please remember to go and check out is go and check out Tony and Curtis I'll link them all in the description they're all amazing and you can head over to Iz's channel now like I'll link it somewhere for you guys but his video will be up now and his video will be more around the kind of perspective of a videographer as well as a stills photographer drop me a comment and let me know what you thought of the shots and what you thought of the shoot in general and the actual concept and the styling as ever please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you did enjoy it it really does help to grow my channel but thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one